Joining us for round two, <laughs> Frank, we should have gloves on. And, and Frank is a boxer. I'm telling you, this guy fights germs like nobody I have ever known. I've known the guy a quarter of a century or so. Uh, Frank, thank you for coming back on with us. Uh, after you now heard Frank talk about what is this thing? It's called HF, hemorrhagic fever. Uh, it can burst blood cells and bleeding occurs and so forth. It's nasty. I want to talk to Frank about the media entirely taking over the subject. Look, this is good for uh, maybe politicians that aren't doing a great job because they can all continue not doing a great job. The media has just picked this thing up and run with it. Where is the Jordan family fear level with this, Frank? Well, I'm all, always fearful of a virus, particularly one that's 70% uh, fatal. That's a yeah. danger. Yeah. Our problem, Doug, if, is if it gets uncontrolled in this country, and I really worry, you know, somebody that appears to be hiding something usually does it because they have something to hide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Indeed. And, and that scares me because I want transparency. The American people, it should be no politics, no policy. This should just be about taking care of our citizens and their health. And that scares me. You mentioned my family. Here's what I would do. One of the first things they do is this dehydrate you. With they put, give you intravenous fluid. So take good, high quality water, at least eight glasses a day. And that's half your body weight in, uh, in ounces. Okay. Um, the second thing would be to eliminate all sugar and nutrition, all white refined products. In fact, the phase one diet from Doug Kaufman is a perfect diet for mm. this. Uh, third, the moderate exercise, the adequate rest. The one I always like is reduced stress. I'm not sure how we do that <laughs> under the circumstances. If you're failing in any of those areas, then you need to supplement. Medical school research, MG beta glucan, as you know, is my area. I'm a co-inventor on a U.S. patent with a major medical school and uh, improvements in the process for that. We've written a book. By the way, just for credentials, we're approved in federal court as an immune response beta-glucan expert. All that said, only to say that that's one thing that normalizes your system. You realize, Doug, in, in West Africa, these, these people have no immune response. Consequently, even if they invent a vaccine, it's going to be very difficult to make it effective there. Here, we're in better health, health in general, but I would be taking the MG beta glucan and the NSC 100. You need the big gun here. Now, mm -hmm. I take two to four a day, mm -hmm. and my entire family does. This is the first time. I haven't had any trouble getting anybody to take these this time. Yeah. But other things for your immune response, which I just mentioned, to keep it up. But we want to normalize it so that it can fight back. Now, one of the things that glue can, we have research going all the way back to Myra Patching. Uh, now, this is not on our specific product. I want to add that. Right. But we have got ongoing research. Now, we're in our 15th year at the University of Nevada School of Medicine, which I'm privileged to work. We know what this does within your system. We don't know how it acts specifically with Ebola. I'm, I'm not making that representation right. to cure, treat, any of that. But I know what it does with the immune response. And one of those functions is it can help to recreate immune cells that have been damaged. Now, if that is the case here, then those dendritic and those macrophage cells, as you and I have been discussing for years, if they can be reestablished with healthy cells to replace the damaged ones or some uh, I, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work, but if that can occur, then the glucans, which you have no downside, we know it amps up your immune system overall, would be something that your immune response needs to re-equip it. Think of a policeman that's had his gun taken away, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. If we can put a gun back in the scabbard so that your immune cop can go out there and hunt the bad guy again, we made a major breakthrough. Well, uh, Frank Jordan, of course, has the uh, NSC beta-glucan, which I am taking uh, and, and my family is taking a couple times a day. Um, and I want to tell you something. So many of you watching this right now are saying, well, why doesn't Frank just go back to the university and get some Ebola and see if it renders it harmless or uh, what it does to white blood cells, et cetera? Folks, you don't want to be around Ebola. <laughs> no, I don't think the University of Nevada wants a can of it coming in so they can study. Um, here's the best information that I think you're going to see in these vignettes. Uh, and that is, it, look, we've known for 30 years that beta-glucan amps up the immune system. 
We also know that Ebola attacks the immune system. So for my money, I'm talking, and I think Frank and I have talked about this off the air, probiotics, 70, 80 percent of your immune system is in the gut, right? Talk to Frank about this. And number two, uh, the beta-glucan. I happen to take this one. Uh, you probably have never seen a label like that, have you, Frank? This is called NSC 100. When Frank says big guns, this is a big, bad uh, virus, and neither Frank nor I are going to say that this will defeat the virus. It prepares your immune system. I want to do one more segment with you, Frank, when we get back, all right? Fine, okay. Doug. And I invite people to NSC24.com, in particular the news section, which is updated on all this continuously with a lot of other links. A lot of doctors, by the way, Frank, are sending me all of their information. We have another uh, interview with a doctor here in a few minutes. Uh, you are the only one I know who has kept people updated with information. I'm in Rockwall, Texas. There are five people in Rockwall, Texas now. They closed some of the schools. And by the way, Scott called me 10 times last night wanting to know if he could take off work today. I'm kidding you, Scott. Uh, but but um, Rockwall, Texas is under the gun. I'm not worried because I'm over the gun with beta-glucan. So don't go away, folks. We'll have more of Frank Jordan in just a moment.